On the 17th of January 1595, during the French Wars of Religion, Henry IV of France declares war on Spain. Henry IV, also known by the epithets Good King Henry or Henry the Great, was King of Navarre as Henry III from 1572 and King of France from 1589 to 1610. He was baptized as a Catholic but raised in the Protestant faith by his mother. He inherited the throne of Navarre in 1572 on his mother's death. As a Huguenot, Henry was involved in the French Wars of Religion, barely escaping assassination in the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, and later led Protestant forces against the French royal army. Henry became King of France in 1589 upon the death of Henry III of France, and he was the first French monarch from the House of Bourbon, a cadet branch of the Capetian dynasty. Henry initially kept the Protestant faith and he was the only French king to do so, but had to fight against the Catholic League, which denied that he could wear France's crown as a Protestant. After four years of stalemate, he converted to Catholicism to obtain mastery over his kingdom, reportedly saying, Paris is well worth a mass. During Henry's struggle for the crown, Spain had been the principal backer of the Catholic League whom still worked against him. On 17 January 1595, the king declared war on Spain and after victory at the Siege of Amiens, he promulgated the Edict of Nantes on 13 April 1598, which guaranteed religious liberties to Protestants, thereby effectively ending the French Wars of Religion. The Treaty of Vervins was signed between the representatives of Henry IV of France and Philip II of Spain on 2 May 1598 at the small town of Vervins in Picardy. By its terms, Philip II of Spain recognized the formerly Protestant Henry as King of France and withdrew his forces from French territory, depriving the remnants of the faltering Catholic League of their support. The Sand River Convention of 1852 was a convention whereby the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland formally recognized the independence of the Boers in southern Africa north of the Vaal River. The convention was signed on 17 January 1852 by Commandant General Andres Pretorius and others on behalf of the new country and Major William Samuel Hogg and Charles Moston Owen, clerk to the Civil Commissioner of Winburg, on behalf of the British government. The treaty was signed on the farm called Sand River. The treaty contained the following provisions. The British government guarantees and grants the emigrant farmers, also known as the Boers, across the Vaal River, the right to govern themselves, according to their own laws, free from any and all British interference, and that the British government wishes to promote peace, free trade and friendly intercourse with the new country. Britain disclaims any and all alliances with non-European nations to the north of the Vaal River. No slavery be practiced in the country to the north of the Vaal River. Ammunition and arms crossing over the border, from the south of the Vaal River, shall require a certificate from a British magistrate, and that no arms or munitions be supplied to the natives by either the British or by the people of the new country. Criminals will be exchanged between the British and the new country, and that summonses for witnesses from both sides of the river be backed up by the magistrates at both sides of the river. It is agreed that certificates of marriages will be recognized on both sides of the river. It is agreed that any and all people now residing in British land, but being in possession of land in the new country, shall have the free right to sell the property and to move freely over the Vaal River. One of the causes of the First Boer War was the direct breach by the British of this convention on 12 April 1877. Britain issued a proclamation called Annexation of the South African Republic to the British Empire and proceeded to occupy Pretoria. Although the British did not attempt to dismantle the country, and self-rule was decreed in the proclamation, the annexation was not accepted by the South African Republic, and a delegation was sent to Europe and the United States to protest this action. The First Boer War was fought from 16 December 1880 until 23 March 1881 between the United Kingdom and Boers of the Transvaal, also known as the South African Republic. The war resulted in a Boer victory and eventual independence of the South African Republic.